What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Flicking on My Big Tarot here, where I bring you the beauty juice and spiritual truths. I am your spirit guide host, Miss BC. And today, you guys, we are back with another general reading for the collective. Please understand this will not apply to every single individual, as every single individual is not going through the same scenario. Cross watchers, anybody who this video is actually for, cross watching for you, you're more than welcome to join and tune in. But please utilize this information for its most positive purpose. Spirit told me to talk to you, so I will be talking to you guys with my kipper. And I'm going to use my Ink Romancy 2 Apocalypse Tarot deck tonight, okay? All the information will be in the description box below. Please be sure to like, share, and subscribe to this video. And if this is so, drop it to my cash out, leave a comment, let me know. Creating something without further ado, collective. Bottom of the deck. I don't know why I started to read like that, but I saw also the Six of Wands. Somebody, I think, is going to try something that it's not going to work. So we're just going to save these two cards. Okay, like... We're just gonna leave those right there. Um, let me go ahead and grab some from the Kipper. Hmm. My neighbors always come outside when I wanna start my videos. Okay, so we got a mature man again. And what energy am I picking up? Somebody, whoever this is, they're, they're older. Like this could be somebody 45 and up, I want to say. Somebody 45 and up. This is a masculine energy that could be around like 45 and up. This person might have hair and a beard. Could be short hair and a beard. And they're getting ready to go somewhere. Somebody's getting ready. Somebody's about to travel somewhere. Yeah, I, I mean, I feel like going around the globe, sailing. I feel like a boat. An anchor. I feel like somebody, somebody might be traveling on a boat. And I feel like they're gonna, I feel like this, the boat is gonna make a few stops. Yeah, I feel like, so this boat is gonna, somebody could be going on a cruise and you all are stopping at like multiple places. Or this person is like, I feel like somebody's going on a cruise and they're like stopping in multiple places with the anchor. Or they're going, or like somebody is, somebody is going on a, I feel like somebody is going on a boat but they they live on it. Somebody's going on a cruise, like a crew, like like one of those seven day cruise ship kind of um, uh, a mature a mature masculine is getting ready to go on a trip because they're sick. But they're be they're maybe they're sick. Maybe they're taking a therapy. I feel like maybe. This trip is going to be therapeutic or somebody is traveling to a hospital or somebody. So this person might not be on. Maybe this person is sick on the cruise. Or if somebody or if you're not taking a cruise and you're flying, you might get 
I feel like either if you're on a if you're on a boat, you might get seasick, or if you're in the air, you may get like you may get sick, or it's either that or you're traveling somewhere because you're sick. I feel like, yeah, this is somebody who's a little bit older in age and they may be traveling somewhere because they're sick or traveling somewhere because someone is sick. A false person. Oh, somebody got somebody sick. Ooh, and we going, ooh, let's get into it. What the fuck? So somebody, so I feel like this masculine is putting on a really good face, like everything is cool. Or maybe you don't know this. Like you, it's, it's I'm kind of getting somebody, it's like you dressed up, you dolled up, you looking nice and you, you trying to impress people but you you trying to impress somebody but you you got an std and it would be embarrassing if people knew or you know what i'm saying it would be a situation like that or you try to it's like you try it's i feel like somebody might be trying to flex in a sense like somebody's trying to flex like they got it and they might do got it but it's like you're lacking somewhere else like you might look like this but be stupid as hell like you might look good, but be stupid or like not smart. You know, it's, it's something like that. I feel like there's something like that. And I feel like whoever I'm reading for is sick because of somebody. Somebody got them sick or somebody got them sick. And I, and I think whatever this trip it's going to, you're not going to, you're going to lose, you're going to lose out on something or you're not going to have, like something isn't going to work out. Like something isn't something, I feel like somebody is putting on a face. Like, oh yeah, everything is cool. But this trip isn't going to be victorious, I feel like. This trip isn't, it's like this trip isn't going to be, it's like, it's going to be a loss. Like somebody's going to take, I feel like somebody's going to take an L. I feel like somebody is going to take an L because somebody is sick. And it's like, this is like, there's not a victory in this situation. Like somebody loses, somebody has to take an L. Like, and it's right underneath the travel card. So it's like somebody, somebody is somebody. I feel like somebody, some whoever is taking this trip is taking an L. Somebody is taking an L because you got a fake person here. And whoever they are, I feel like they got you sick. Somebody got you sick. Or somebody got somebody sick right before they go to trip. So maybe somebody got sick right before they travel. And they're going to start feeling the sick while they're traveling. So, and it's like, so it's like, it'd be a situation where let's say you and your girl or you and your guy or whatever, you all plan a trip, right? You all plan this trip. Y'all sleeping together, but one of them is sick, maybe because of infidelity or something. Maybe they don't, it, it don't even got to be an STD. Maybe somebody went to a party and got a cold or caught COVID. You know what I'm saying? Somebody caught some something, or maybe somebody's just stupid. Maybe somebody is like sickly stupid. Like, you know what I'm saying? So I feel like whoever this was may have gotten sick or was already sick before taking this trip. So it's like, while you on a trip, you're not going to be, you know, you might be tired and dreary you know what i'm saying you might feel sick while you on this trip because of somebody or you're going to get sick by somebody going to get sick somebody is going to get sick bad health fake person somebody is giving somebody some type of sickness maybe intentionally maybe not intentionally and i feel like whoever the person is that catches it 
whoever the person is that gets it from some the other person, they don't even know that they have it. This is how you feel right now, maybe because the symptoms haven't started, but you go from this to being sick and something is not a victory. Like something is not a win here. People, y'all gotta watch it, y'all, man. Y'all gotta watch, y'all be around. I don't know what the fuck, bro. Like, people just be, and this don't even feel right to me. Like, this reading don't even feel right. Look at the, y'all, three of swords. Yes, somebody, somebody got sick. Somebody, somebody got somebody to fuck sick. And whoever this is, you gonna feel it. Like, like you gonna feel it. You gonna feel this shit. I'm telling you, you gonna feel this shit. Like something is not like, oh, like I just feel like, like I feel like this is bad. I feel like this the type of shit that'll make you cry. Like this will make your insides hurt. What the fuck? Somebody. Somebody made somebody sick and they might even cry. I feel like the feminine was sick. The feminine. So we got the masculine and we got a, I feel like a feminine or whoever the feminine energy is, the feminine energy got this person sick. Slowly but surely got this person sick. Slowly but surely was slowly but surely doing something. This is like somebody who's poisoning you. You know what I'm saying? They might put some uh, Parmesan cheese on your spaghetti or add a little bit of salt and pepper to your fucking spaghetti or your food. And when you eat it, you know what I'm saying? You don't feel right. Your stomach all fucked up and you like, what the fuck is going on? You don't die, but you get real fucking sick to where you may have to go to the hospital and you like, what the fuck? And they say, how did you get rat poison in your system? And you sitting here looking like this bitch. You know what I'm saying? This is that type of shit. Like this person might've done this once or twice. Like <laughs> I, I hate to put my friend on blast, but I got to put my friend on blast. Of course, I'm not going to say who this person is, but I have a friend who is married and she got so mad at her dude one time that she had literally put whatever it is to make your hair fall out in his shampoo because she would be the one that would shampoo his hair and she would get mad like she would get mad like she would get really upset and she would just do stuff to him. Like she would just do stuff to, and he wouldn't, and unbeknownst to him, he would not know. And so she would put, she put that shit inside of his. So when he would use it, he would use it. And it wasn't like when he used it, his hair just fell out. It was like, he would notice his hair was thin and then it would grow back. It's like when you shave underneath your arms and you start to see it grow back after about three days. And you start to see the little specks peek out. Like, that's kind of how it was. It was like, damn, every time I see you, your hair look like it's getting thinner and thinner. And it was, and it was over a period of time. So this is like this, what this person is doing. It don't have to be that scenario, but I feel like this is what this person has been doing. And like, now you might start to really feel the effects of being sick. So it's like, if somebody put, bleaching your toothpaste or bleaching your juice and you drinking it and you like damn why this shit taste like this or you know what i'm saying or somebody could be like narcissistic and they're constantly putting things in your head to make you think one way and you're like like that shit don't sound right but i guess we you know they saying it so you know that i might as well just kind of go with it i don't know or maybe in your mind you're like that that's not true but i'm gonna still talk to you you know what i'm saying like you know you know this person is full of lies but you won't stop talking to them this is one of these types of situations and i feel like something a trip is not going to be a success it's just not and somebody is going to feel their sickness yeah you have i feel like this is a masculine this could be a fire sign or this could be an aries 
And whoever this is, I feel like they they do got it like that. Like they might got some money. Like this person might got some money. This person has uh might have like a status. This person might be real fiery. This person might be like underneath it all, they're very fiery, but in front of people, they put on a, you know, I look good, I'm chill. I'm like, I'm like 21 Savage at a party. You know what I'm saying? Like you just chill, you ain't too crank, you know, you just relax. You look good, you dress nice. It's kind of like a, you know, I don't really gotta do too much, you know, type shit. See? Somebody is going to be very unenthusiastic about this trip. I feel like somebody really don't want to go. But it's like, shit, if I got to go, I'm going to look good while I fucking do it. But something isn't going to, something about this trip isn't going to be a success. And I can't for sure tell you what it is, but something about this trip is not going to be a success. I feel like the masculine might not know what's going on. I feel like the masculine might not know what they're even walking into. Like, I feel like the masculine don't even know what he, he the masculine energy about to walk into. Slowly but surely. They don't, I feel like they getting ready to walk right into something crazy as hell. Yep. Because somebody is stuck in the past. Somebody is replaying a situation that may have happened over and over again. And whatever it is, it bothered them a hell of a lot. I feel like this bothered, somebody did something to somebody that bothered them so much they got sick. It's like if somebody, if somebody, if you're arguing so passionate, and, and, and I, and honest to God, I used to do this. I used to get so fucking mad. Like I had an ex, right? And this guy was the worst of the fucking worst. He was narcissistic. He was the worst. And at the time, I didn't know what even narcissist or nothing like that was. But this nigga was so just, he was so terrible. He was mentally abusive. He was physically abusive. He was spiritually abusive. He was verbally abusive. Whatever else, he was miscellaneous abusive. Like he was everything terrible. You know what I'm saying? And I would get so mad and so frustrated that I would, we would be on the phone screaming, literally screaming to the top of our lungs. Like, and I would like screaming so loud, you would not even be able to hear what I was saying on the other end of the phone. And he would make me so mad that I would get to that point to where sometimes I would have to hang up the phone and sit down because it's like, I'm like, damn, I'm dizzy. Or like, you know, you might get to a point to where you like pass out and shit. Like you might be somewhere and just pass out and don't even know that you done passed the fuck out. And then now it's a little bit embarrassing because it's like, shit, I feel like that's the, you might be walking into something like that. It's like, yeah, like slowly but surely somebody has been taking your motherfucking strength from you. Somebody, yes. Some, y'all, didn't I say something was gonna, y'all, this bitch. Y'all, it's a bitch. It's a bitch. It's a motherfucking bitch that is going, look, this bitch is going with you. Whoever this is for, this bitch is going with you. And she don't have no money. So a feminine energy that's going on you, if a feminine energy is going with you on a trip, she don't have no money. She looking at you like, what did I say? Something wasn't going to be a success. Something is going to be a great injustice. And I feel like it's going to do with money. You going to go on this trip and this bitch is going to run your motherfucking bill up. And if you're on a cruise, usually from what I know, because I haven't been on a cruise and I've been on a cruise one time year, year, years ago. And you, from what I know, you can have a card on file or whatever, and you can, you know, buy what you want and pay what you want. And you don't always have to like use your card or whatever like that. 
on cruise ships. But I feel like somebody going to run up a motherfucking bill. Somebody is going to run up a bill and it is going to be a great injustice. Somebody is about to look, I'm telling you. And what do we have over here? Strength, losing strength. Somebody is going to do, a feminine is going to do some, is going to do some outlandish shit, I feel like, to somebody because they're mad. This person is in a, 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 is, in a, a is in a masculine energy, a aggressive, angry masculine. You know what I'm saying? So this might not even be the feminine. This could be the, the, the masculine energy. But I feel like this masculine energy is like, I'm, um, I'm the bitch, nigga. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, you my bitch, nigga. Like, it's, I can see somebody saying that shit. Like, you my bitch. Pay for this shit. Because I don't have no money. You know what I'm saying? I can see, I can see this person just saying that shit. And this is, uh, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. And Aquariuses are cutthroat. More than Libras and more than Geminis. We're just, Geminis are more straightforward. Libras will physically fuck you up, but Aquarius will cut you with the tongue. Like they gonna leave some shit sitting in your mind like, damn, what the fuck did she just say? Why the fuck was she? It would the things an Aquarius could say to a person because we're literally we think for a living. We're the innovators. We're the creators of the world. So we start the fucking trends for shit. Like we make up harshness. And like me, I'm an Aquarius, and my moon sign is in Virgo. Virgos are very fucking cutthroat, especially emotionally. And my Jupiter. My 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 Jupiter, my Saturn. Uh, I got a bunch of Capricorn in my system. So like when and I know how to use my words. So when I think about some shit to say, when I really want to hurt your feelings, I'm gonna say some shit that you're literally just not gonna forget. You know what I'm saying? So you could be dealing with one of these. A Libra will just like fuck you up. A Libra will fuck your shit up. Will just fuck your shit up. A Gemini. They crazy as hell. So a Gemini might just say, fuck you and leave you alone. Might dip off and, and go fuck with somebody else. You know what I'm saying? And they're very fucking direct too, to, to an extent. Like they're just very fucking energetic. But you're dealing with somebody like that. And whoever this is, they're going to get you sick. Look at that. Quickly, they going, they going, it's like, I'm going to just start fucking with him. And once he's down, I'm going to just start fucking with him. Just doing whatever. Death card could be dealing with a Scorpio. Look, somebody not, somebody having a hard time making a decision because of an empress. Somebody might, so somebody might be thinking about somebody else. I feel like somebody is thinking about maybe cutting somebody else completely off. And it could be this empress or maybe this, imp there's, there's another person here. So there's somebody here and then there's this bitch and then there's you. So there are three people here, but I feel like somebody is cut off. Like somebody is cutthroat or you're, it's like, you're thinking, maybe you're thinking to cut somebody throat or you're thinking to hurt somebody. Whoever this empress is, somebody is, is, having a hard time making a decision what to do to them. It's like somebody want to cut somebody off or somebody wants to like slice. I feel like, ah, uh, this bitch right here. She, okay. I, I know what's going on. I know what's going on. So there's a couple here, right? Somebody, I feel like the feminine energy doesn't like their boyfriend. So they might be on like some, the, the times when, you remember how I said the friend of mine, she would do stuff over time. So this might be you and this person's downtime where you all aren't getting along, but then you know, you'll get back along with each other, but then you all get back in this 
negative energy with each other and then you all start talking and then you all go back and forth and over a period of time this person has been slowly but surely doing little shit to fuck you over and now that you all are going on this trip Now that you all are going on this trip, this is the best opportunity to fuck you up. This person is even kind of paranoid about it. This person is trying to get out of their head. It's trying not to be schizo about it because I feel like this person got a plan and it's like, damn, so I'm really about to execute this shit. Like I'm really about to try this shit. And if you're dealing with a Capricorn, a Virgo or a Taurus, they're going to get you for real because these motherfuckers don't play. <laughs> I swear they don't play. And what did I say? Didn't I say somebody was going to lose some money? This person might be afraid of what you want to say about losing this money. Like this person think you might beat they ass, but it's like, I don't give a fuck because I'm going to still do it. And whoever this is, it could be because they found out maybe you were cheating because whoever this is, this person is not like. I feel like neither one of the people like this person. Like neither one like this person. Maybe because this person is good looking or they're the empress. This could be the baby mom. Um, this could be anybody. The empress is usually the mother. So this could be a baby mother, maybe somebody. So I feel like, so I was listening to the radio one time, right? And so this dude won tickets. He was a Spanish dude. This dude won tickets to it was it was some music concert and this is when i was in dallas so the dude so the 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 the, the radio host was like so who are you gonna take with you on your trip and he was like man i'm gonna take my side piece <laughs> he said he was gonna take his side piece and i bet you everybody listening was like caught off guard he had a girlfriend but he said he was taking his side piece so I feel like maybe somebody is taking a side piece and the baby mother is going to get mad. So the side piece is like, oh, you want to fuck me over? Oh, you want to try this shit? Okay, well, we're going to go on a trip and I'm going to make you pay for it. I'm nervous as fuck because I'm going to make you pay for it. I'm going to make you pay for what you did. Or this, the roles are in reverse. Put them where they may. Or maybe this is the dude doing this. This the dude doing this. But there are three, two girls, two feminines don't like each other. Like, I feel like one feminine just doesn't care. The other feminine is like, I hate that bitch. I hate that. And then the other one is just like, I don't care. <laughs> like, I really just, I don't, I don't care. Like, yeah, I feel like somebody is trying to restore balance in the wrong way. It's like, yeah, I'm going to make you love me by doing this. Because if I do this, you're going to think this way, but I'm going to do it this way. Whoever this is, I feel like they're slow, but they're not stupid. This person knows exactly what they're doing. This queen of pentacles, look at the energy she in. She's in a negative energy because she's in a reverse. And happy. So this is like vengeful type of shit. Mm, 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 mm. I feel like this person is going to be like, oh, I bet you know we're going out of town. I bet you know we're going on a cruise. I bet you know we're taking a flight. I bet you know. And maybe this person wants, I feel like this person wants them to get mad because they're going. So this, so somebody might know. And I say that because you see inside their eye, it looks like a world. And we saw right here, traveling the world and see, you gotta look at these things. That's, that's, that's kind of uh, not normal. I forgot what that word is I'm looking for. But what are the chances? Like, you got to look for little synchronicities. You got the world here. You got distant horizons, which means travel. You have the world inside of this eye is like a globe. So it's like somebody here, it's like somebody, whoever the girl is that's going, they want the other one to be like, hey, 
look at me going with so-and-so and he don't even know I'm fucking him over. So both of y'all is getting fucked. But one person is like, I'm not over there. So I'm literally not getting fucked. Okay. That's what I feel like. Somebody is doing something quickly without warning. Just somebody is somebody is just being very um somebody is very abrasive. I feel like. Somebody is just very impulsive. Like they just do things on a whim. Let's just do this really quickly. But I feel like somebody is trying to cut something off. Or I, I feel like somebody is trying to fuck up somebody's money and it could be a Scorpio. It could be a Scorpio. The death card is the card of Scorpio. Somebody want to cut off some money. Scorpios that I know usually have money or some form of it. Scorpios generally tend to be kind of good with their money. But somebody sees. So I feel like somebody is going to see this. Somebody, I feel like maybe if this is a Scorpio, you're going to see this coming. I thought maybe that you wouldn't, but Scorpios are very intuitive as well. So, mm, mm. Scorpios are very intuitive as well. So the, the if if this is a Scorpio, you might even feel this coming, but somebody going to fuck with your money with this eight of pentacles right here. And somebody is nervous to do it, but they don't care. It's a risk that they're willing to take. <laughs> Sad people out here. Look. Somebody getting fulfillment and they nervous as fuck about it. Somebody is like, yeah, I'm, I'm I'm about to come in this bitch and I'm about to get my money, his money, her money, whoever's. Somebody about to come in and get some money. See, four swords, somebody is cutting some shit off. Somebody is, it's like if you go on this trip with whoever this is, they going to try to run up a check. And they're going to be real smooth about it. Somebody about to look. They thinking about it. They're heavily thinking about it. Swords energy. Four swords here. Somebody better protect themselves. Somebody. And I feel like somebody, whoever's meditating, they know. Somebody. I feel like if not both of y'all, somebody is intuitive and somebody knows. And so I feel like to some degree, they don't really feel too bad about it. But it's still a stressful situation. Look, I don't went overboard. If you don't, if you don't, you better. <laughs>